there are some important valuable lessons for asset recovery that come from the infamous Bernie Madoff case. And it's worth taking a look at those in the wake of um, him dying uh, in the last couple months. As you know, Bernie Madoff was the largest Ponzi scheme that's known to the modern era. Uh, that and the Scott Rothstein case from South Florida are the two that happened in the you know, early 2000s. Uh, and they were very similar in uh, the method, but different in scope. So Bernie Madoff, you know, goes through the, the history of the, um, the case and what happened with the, the investors. But the most important part of this is the payback section, right? In both the Bernie Madoff case and the Scott Rothstein case, victims received a very large percentage. Some say they return, received all their money back over time using some very clever, unique, and progressive asset recovery techniques. And much of that revolves around what's called third-party enablers, where if part of this scam was enabled even accidentally by a third party, then the third party has to recover some of those losses. In this case, a large portion of the payback came from a $7.2 billion settlement from Jeffrey Pickower, who was an investor from Florida. And what he did was he pooled and consolidated investments from other uh, smaller investors. And because he enabled this Madoff fund, he had to put back 7.2 billion. And there were other of these uh, type of investors, 14.4 4 billion uh, of what they call net winners who took more money out than they put in. There were also some banks and other third parties that had to put money in. And this is the key to getting money back from a fraud or a scam because usually the scammer or the fraudster has spent a great deal of the money sending it out to returns for existing uh, investors. Sometimes they live a lavish lifestyle. Sometimes they, they lose money in uh, actual investments. And the way to recover the, the difference between what's left when they auction off the cars and the houses and the helicopters is by going after third party enablers. And in most cases, those enablers are law firms or accountants or sales companies, like in this case, that have insurance policies that can help make uh, investors whole. So as a reminder of the value of third party recovery, we'll use this event of the death of Bernie Madoff to remind fraud victims to be on the lookout for third parties. And that's one of the things we look at in an investigation is what third parties enabled this? Was there a bank that overlooked a certain document? Was there a sales company or advertising company that knew that this was a scam and still let the marketing go forward? So those are the, um, the keys to getting investor recovery of funds, 100% or close to 100%, when the underlying fraudster has spent or squandered some of the money and it's not there to recover from the principal.